Hello Booktube, this is a bookshelf tour. It's um, bookcase number 11. It's uh, shelf 6, which is the next to last shelf. It's American history and biographies and all that. So start right off. Henry Adams and the Makings of, uh, Making of America. Uh, this is by Gary Wills. And it was 2005. Uh, Houghton Mifflin and uh, Company in Boston. So this is what it looks like. So I um, I really enjoyed this one. Um, I do have uh, Henry Adams' Famous History of America now um, in the Library of America edition, and uh, I was in, I, I bought it because I because I saw this. So this next one here is in Lincoln's hand. His original manuscripts, the official publication, Library of Congress, Bicentennial Exhibition. Uh, the exhibition was titled With Malice Toward None. Uh, with commentary by distinguished Americans, edited by Harold Holzer and Joshua Wolf Schenk. Well, hopefully you can see this. And uh, this is Bantam Books. And let's see here, uh, 2009. And it's about uh, Lincoln's manuscripts. It's beautifully illustrated. So here's a letter. More. Quite a book. Very nice. Fun book. Then we have Tried by War, Abraham Lincoln as Commander-in-Chief by James M. McPherson. And you remember him as the author of The Battle Cry of Freedom, which I don't have and I will get. Uh, this, uh, Tried by War, Abraham Lincoln as Commander-in-Chief, James M. McPherson, The Penguin Press, New York, 2008. Here's the end papers. The famous photograph on the cover there. Then we move to a book I've had for such a long time. Um, it actually was multiple books, but I have the one volume edition. And that's The Great River, The Rio Grande in North American History by Paul Horgan. And uh, I read this long, long time ago before I moved out to New Mexico for, for a while. This is a Hart, Holt, Reinhardt, and Winston, New York. Um, it's uh, 1971. Volume 1 is Indians in Spain, and Volume 2 is Mexico and the United States. I love the writing in this. I, I really enjoy these, um, so uh, I would I would recommend it. And then back to another author I um, historian I I just really admire. And that's Samuel Eliot Morrison again, but um, probably not going to be a lot of takers for this book. But it's actually fascinating. It's the Rope Makers of Plymouth: A History of the Plymouth. Cordage Company, 1824 to 1949, and uh, yeah, I, I really enjoyed it, and it was uh, the Riverside Press, Cambridge, Houghton Mifflin Company, Boston, 1950. So a corporate history about rope. Then another one of my, well, not my favorite historians, but one of my favorite biographers. Um, I've, I've got quite a number of her volumes. And uh, that's uh, Catherine Drinker Bowen. And this one here is uh, Yankee from Olympus, Justice Home and His Family, an Atlantic Monthly Press book, Little Brown and Company, Boston, 1944. And uh, she's written, uh, they'll have a list here. Well, maybe they will. Let me see. So they have um, Beloved Friends, the story of Tchaikovsky and uh, Nadja Van Meck. Then a Free, Order, uh, Free Artist, the story of Anton and Nicoli, uh, Nicholas Rubenstein. I can't speak today. And then you have Yankee from Olympus, Justice Home and his family. Um, she did one on John Adams that I absolutely love. One miracle at Philadelphia about the making of the Constitution. Um, 
Francis Bacon biography, and probably my favorite of them all was one about uh, um, the great jurist. Um, oh, I can't. Oh, what, I can't remember his name. Lord Coke, I believe. I'm probably butchering that. I should have looked. I should shouldn't ramble while I'm doing this sort of thing. Then here I have Jesse James, Last Rebel of the Civil War by T.J. Styles, And uh, that was Alfred Knopf from New York, 2002, about the outlaw. And then um, finally, a three-volume set that was a gift. Uh, the Battlefields of the Civil War, The Commanders of the Civil War, The Fighting Men of the Civil War, uh, William C. Davis, and uh, the box set thing with cat hair on it. This is out of a bottom shelf, so when the heater starts, sometimes I have to get through and dust all the bottom shelves a couple times there and just to keep up. So let me break them out of here. So they have, they're beautifully illustrated, with these paintings throughout. There's one of them. There's another. And here's the other one. To give you an idea of those about Civil War. So that was bookcase 11. Shelf number six, um, which is the next to the last shelf of uh, American history. Thank you, BookTube.